about yeah. that. That's very bad taste. It is and a I very, very bad that. taste. Yeah, yeah let's move cool. on. Okay, let's so, move on. Yeah. so my head We're is hooked here. up to all these wires, Billy. Thank you for arranging for this. 19 yes. sets of wires. Is that what I have here, Langdon? Yep. 19 sets 19 of wires channels. hooked into my head right now. And I like this hat because it feels, like I said, like I have hair again. It's nice. It looks good. It makes me good. feel like I'm in high yeah. school again. It looks real good. Yeah, I know. Does it look like a yarmulke, or what does it look like? Um, No, it just looks like a tight do-rag. Does it look like a, swimming, a swimmer's hat? It looks like a tight do-rag. Can yeah. I say do-rag? Is that an appropriate term, yeah, no, do-rag? I don't, I don't think you can say yeah, that. Yeah, so, sure. uh, but, you know, with the results on there, does it does it tell you anything about why Dave's hair is thinning? Hmm. That, that stress, have to do a few more <laughs> stress. I think maybe it was no stress. You're right because right before the break, Dave, we couldn't get that thing to work, and it's still, we're just stressed out over here, Whatever. Langdon. It's a lot of stress being on. I'm the not air. gonna let it get it's to a me, very Billy. Very stressful job. You got all kinds of things. <sighs> Okay, so we're still hooked mm. up, and I see this thing. What are all those waves? Is, is, my, is this thing actively scanning my brain right now? It's actively scanning your okay. brain, and okay, cool. of course, right. a lot of it is just movement artifacts. But what we're seeing now is a lot more beta uh, activity, and the beta waves are beta associated activity. with action and trying to do things and trying to figure things out mm, and being yeah. on alert and all yeah. that sort of stuff, which is David? what we'd expect yeah. here. Um, we're are you ready? It, kind of see if, um, if your beta is... Um, is higher than what we'd expect, but it, it's hard to tell because um, okay. you know you're in the middle of a bunch of stuff, and so right. it is an appropriate. And I'm nervous because Billy's right about now. to nail me with this. We are just here. about to play, everybody. Yeah. Billy's tasty and or tainted trivia. And now it's time for Billy's tasty and tainted trivia. What's going on here, Billy? Well. Today we're playing Taste or Tainted, and this week's uh, rendition episode, we are doing Mexican candies, David. All right. Mexican candies. Wait, what is this? This is the music we... you sent me. Oh, no. This was the bumper for the... This is not the Taste and Tainted. What are you tainted. doing, man? Ah, forget it. All right. All right. All right. Anyways. Oh, whatever. All right. So we have six questions, David. Uh, one through six, they're numbered. Why don't you pick a card, Dave? One through six. One. Number one. That's a wise choice, David. All right. Langdon and everyone else. Langdon, what was your wife's name again? I forget. Amy. Amy, I'm sorry. Amy, yes. All right, everybody. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. First question, number one. Which country does not have a famous duck blood soup? Is it Poland, Vietnam, China, or Belgium? Langdon, are you watching his brainwaves here? Watching carefully. Look for activities. You probably won't see much because I have no idea. <laughs> Here are the answers okay, again. Okay, okay. The, the uh, choices are Poland, Vietnam, China, or Belgium. Belgium. David Michaels, that is correct. Of All course. right. Now you have to pick uh, one of these, and then now that you answered it correctly, we've changed the bid. Okay. You can either taste it or you can pass it on to me because you got it correct, and I have to taste it. I'm going to pass but it first, on to you. But first, one through six, got to pick what it okay. is first. You might like it. Well, let me see the bag. Well, no, no. It's one through six. I have the mark, Dave. Oh, okay. Then it's number, number one. Number one. Okay, there we are. Number one. Ah, this is beautiful. Look at this. It's in a cup. I even prepared it. I got a little spoon for you, Dave. Let's see. It's nice and juicy. This one is called <laughs> disgusting. Ola Sweet and Sour Flavored Salted Plum. And you're not going to taste it. I'm huh? making me do it. Yeah, that's for you all the way, dude. Oh, I am not boy. having that. This is, uh, all right. Well, it's, uh, it's uh, let's, let's sniff her it. <laughs> it smells, um, it doesn't smell good. That's for sure. It's uh, <laughs> some kind of a plum. It's plum and it's salted. Those are uh, nasty, man. Are this? This they is are not nasty, good. And especially in the All liquid. Right, here we go. Here Ew. we go. Ew. Are you gonna eat it? Mm-hmm. I'm eating it. Ew. That's nasty. That's disgusting. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just spit it back into the cup? It tastes gross, David. I told you. I Way told gross. you it tastes gross. I told you that. It has a almost a uh, mangoey. Um, um, mm. Disgusting. Mm. Actually, it's kind of better after the. All right. So, so give me another one. Give okay. me another one. I'm All right. Ready. All right. Next, tasty and tainted. Next question, David. Yes. You got uh, choose through uh, one through or two through six now. Two. Number two. Making it simple. All right. This is a good one. What candy bar was named after a family's horse? Was it Snickers, Twix, Milky Way, 
or Butterfinger, David? <laughs> Which candy bar was named after somebody's horse? That is correct. Family's horse. Okay. What, what did you what, give me the choices again? Snickers, uh -huh. Twix, Milky Way, or Butterfinger? Butterfinger. David Michaels, that is incorrect. Damn the it. correct answer is uh, actually Langdon or Amy. Do you have a guess on that one? Did you see any? Did you see anything peak on that? That, that is answer, Snickers. Langdon. Snickers. I the correct answer is didn't. Snickers. No. Oh. Snickers. Snickers. Amy yeah. got that one correct. That's a cute Snickers. name. I like that. That's a cute All right, name for a horse. Now you must uh, choose. Uh, we have two available. We have six. Uh, wait, wait. Did, did Langdon five. see any anything spike there? Oh, yes. I did not see anything other than your. No brain you moved. Activity. Okay, all right. Okay, so um, the tension in, in your six. in your body gave you away. Keep it. Keep Five, an eye on it now because four. Two. We have two. Oh, two. Two. Yes, two. Ah, oh, Dave, you are a lucky, lucky man. Another one in the. Uh, this one is called. It's in a spoon here. I prepared it. Uh, interestingly, it's called American Candies, but it's not. It's Dulces Americanos. It's by Tiger Products, and. Um, actually, it doesn't say what it is on it. These are fresh. I just purchased these. Right. Uh, Dave, there it is. Do you know what these are? They're little Let red. Uh, is it a, like a the thing I just ate? Maybe like a plum? It's uh, coated in red. You know what uh, these things look like? They look like um, little gopher livers. You know, when, you're, when the cat goes out there and eats the gopher, but they leave the little... Oh, the little you know what? You're right. Organs. Yeah. They do. It's, yeah, it totally right? looks like that. Hmm. Okay. Keep an eye on that I'll reading, uh, Langdon. <laughs> How is it? Tasty or tainted, David? <laughs> Is it good? What's the reading on the uh, headgear there, Langdon? Oh, it's all over the place. We've got uh, <laughs> it's all chewing. Over the place. <laughs> chewing is getting readings. Yes. Is that hot, Dave? Is no. that spicy? Because they're bright red. Let me look at it. Let me sniff it. Yeah, that's very it. popular in the Spanish community, Billy. Is it? Mm -hmm. What are these? I'm going to try one. Looks that like is tamarindo. Is it good? Um, that's not that bad. Oh, yeah. That's not that bad. Mm -hmm. Would you like to try some? Sure. That's uh, tamarindo. And, and Although uh, very intense. All these, the flavor is very intense. I'm not intense with the flavors. Kind of if you've never had a chance to have tamarindo, they're really good. Tamarindo. You can buy them in the Mexican stores. They come in little... Um, Plastic? No, no. They, 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 they come in a natural husk. Really? And they, they're, they're hard. The husk is hard, but if you peel it, it has a little fleshy fruit on the inside surrounded by, uh, I don't think surrounding I've seen a pit. That. It's really good. That's what that is. Oh, wow. Tamarindo. That's no, not bad. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right, next question, David. Do you just want to go for number three? Yeah. Straight down the list. Yes, let's right. do it, number three. Which of these was not among the four original Starburst flavors? Was it cherry? Was it strawberry? Lemon or lime? Um, Remember, lime. It was lime. David Michaels, you are incorrect. The answer is sure? cherry. Cherry, sure? cherry, cherry is the answer, you Dave. Her, you got that right, too? She's getting all of them right. We're going to have to ask she her next time. All right, Dave. <laughs> now you have number six available, uh -huh. number five, number four, is, am I, am I, and uh, number three, of course. Is the thing going off the charts because I'm moving? Is that why? Yeah, it's going off the charts because you're moving and chewing and talking and all that. So the, the amplitude of the muscle tension is so much greater than the amplitude of the brainwave activity. I see. So it's, it's kind of hard to tell. We did ha get a little bit of, of something happening there right when you were making the, the answer, but hard to tell if that was, was movement or just okay. some... Okay, so this time I'm going to stay very, very still, Billy. Okay. All right. I'm going to close still. my eyes and okay. I'm going to just relax as much as possible. Go ahead and throw it All out. All right, now here it is, Dave. Question number four here on Dave Michaels' Flight 1080 radio program. I am Billy Army co-hosting... We are here with Langdon Roberts from the Santa Cruz Neurofeedback Center and his lovely wife, Amy. David, here's question number four. Hackerel, Icelandic fermented sharks smell of blue cheese, ammonia, stinky socks, or porta potty. You like that one at the end there, porta potty? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Dave! What is your <laughs> guess there, Dave? That's an important question. <laughs> um, the, w this is a shark that smells like A, B, and C, and D. What Hackerel, Icelandic fermented shark, smells of blue cheese, ammonia, stinky socks, or porta potty. Come on, Dave! You can do it. Concentrate. Um, porta potty. 
Amy, do you have a guess? Stinky socks. Stinky socks is incorrect. Ooh. Porta potty is incorrect. Langdon, do you have a guess? You got two choices, 50-50. Mm. Blue cheese or ammonia? I'll go for the blue cheese. Everyone is incorrect on this one. Actually, the answer is ammonia. Really? Yeah, fermented shark. Smells like ammonia. Well, Dave, uh, here Port we go. We have uh, available next uh, number three, six, right. five, or four, Dave. Four. Number four is this beautiful, beautiful jellied product. And it's the name of it. It's uh, apple. It's fruit jelly. And it says here at the very top, Mi Dulce Mexico, Dave. There you are. And on this one, we can just kind of pop the top like so. It's going to spill all it's over a very you. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to open it up. All right. It's going to spill over. All right. Over. There it is. And I think you can probably just, you want to suck back that I think you jelly should do there? that. Wait, you <laughs> got it wrong. You have to do oh, it. Oh, I have to do that. You missed the question. Oh, well, you know what? This is not bad. Here, here, like here. Things. Just take a little taste of it. You don't got to eat the whole thing. Okay, That's, good. Uh, there's a spoon for you. Yeah, because yeah, it's pretty is gross. A, is this lime jello? Is that what that is? Yes. I think you, you're the I, one that gave it to me. I don't know. I got it. I don't it know. said, uh, here. Uh, here it is a little jello. Green, lime, fruit product in there. Ew. Is it. It's, How's not, that? it's not good. Is it tainted? Uh, I I would go with yes. That's tainted. tainted. It smells like cleaner. <laughs> it tastes like cleaner you too. You want to try really that over there, Langer like Amy? Uh, yeah, good. they're passing on that. All right, okay. all right, all right. Next, now, next, next. Now I gotta stay still. Uh, anything that, that, that work any better there? Anything more interpretable? Interpretable there? What you were getting a lot of uh, patterns called beta spindles when you were listening, trying to figure all this stuff out, mm -hmm. and um, so those can be just trying to. Um, put put a lot of uh, attention on something, but they can, they can also interrupt the flow of of processing. They can be kind of a stress response. You're trying really hard, so um, you're getting more spindling beta when you're thinking about it than say you are right now. No, I'm I'm hooked up to these electrodes, Billy. Right, uh, a lot of people mm -hmm, just tuning mm -hmm. in. And uh, we're sitting here with Langdon Roberts. He is with Santa Cruz Neurofeedback. Santa Cruz Neurofeedback Center okay. in so, Soquel Village. So now if I go to you, uh, Langdon, uh, for the most part, you don't have people uh, do comedy bits, right, while they're laying there with this thing hooked up. They're just kind of <laughs> relaxing. Typically, yeah. Right? Billy's not More making them eat, eat things. That they not don't. distracting him and torturing them with these products. Okay, so they go there, and you, you run this test. We find out what areas um, they need to work on, right? Yep. So, so in my case... Um, what was it again? Uh, 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 right posterior temporal lobes mm -hmm. uh, and this uh, kind of bicentral mu pattern right in the um, central parietal region. So these are kind of indicators of, of uh, hypersensitivity to the environment. Uh, just, just a sen you're a sensitive person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Okay, well, I think that's, that's fair. All right, Mr. Yeah. Sensitive, are you ready for the next one, Dave? Sure. Mr. Sensitive, all right. Well, not like that kind Take. of sensitive, Billy, like a manly sensitive, right, Langdon? Uh, oh, totally, oh, totally manly. Totally manly, manly, dude. Don't oh, even, get oh, that. Right, Don't even right. go there. Like a ma uh, manly sensitive, like Dean Martin, right? He was a manly sensitive. Sure, I guess, whatever. Yeah, whatever, give me the... Big, on, big don't, fan don't try to get Martin. out of this, Billy. All right, I'm just going to skip it up here. Number, uh, question six, we're going out of order. All right, here we go. The secret ingredient... In the cheese, casu marzu is sardines, pebbles, cow dung, or maggots. Who comes up with Dave? these options? You do? Because <laughs> one, one of them is right. The other ones are totally made up. Oh, no. These were already uh, prepared like that. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> he doesn't think so. Um, okay. The secret ingredient in the cheese, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. marzu. Let me calm down. Okay, ask me. Hello. Ask me. David Michaels here on Flight 1080. What is the secret ingredient in the cheese casu marzu? Is it sardines, pebbles, cow dung, or maggots? Maggots. Maggots is correct. Rats. David Michaels, congratulations. And now you get to pick one of these uh, fine products. We have number six available. Number, number six is the one I want to go with. I want to keep six. them matching. All right. Good. Just like cool. my Cool. I think this one might be good. And now, Dave, do you want to try this, or are you going to pass this one on to me? I will. It's the Yan Yan Chocolate Cream. Ew. Chocolate Cream. It's called. Yeah, you could have um, that. You could take that, Billy. The <laughs> Yan Yan <laughs> Chocolate yeah, cream. Yeah, right, and then we're gonna open it and up. you'll be running for the restroom. I All got a right. show to we run here. We got some uh, little, uh, what is these, uh, little bread crackers, stick, little right? cracker sticks, and some uh, beautiful. You know, um, usually Yan Yan is good, but not, really? I've never seen any kind of creamy, crunchy huh. stuff. Let's try it out. Mmm. 
Mm. Oh, you know what? Huh. Oh, yeah, that's tasty. Is it really? Yeah, that's good. Ooh. All right. So we've only had one that's tasty. Uh, really really right. like. I think those are actually pretty tasty. Yeah. Only one Only one treat here that was... Only one that's been really... Yeah. Ooh, bad one. Yeah, bad. Just that one. All right. We'll try that Question again, Dave, because you were, we were getting some, some more alpha and... Okay, all right. It's so like I'm, you were kind of going into a meditative state there. So go, let's see if you can okay. tune in to... Just keep okay. your hands to yourself, Billy. I have, a, feel, I have a feeling, Dave, eyes. that you're going to get this one fairly easily. Here. On Billy's Tasty and or Tainted Trivia. David Michaels, mm -hmm. what spice is used to flavor licorice candy? Is it caraway, fennel, cumin... Or anise. Anise. That is correct, David right. Michaels. I think everybody knew that mm -hmm. one. That was a little bit easy one. All right, I gotta taste one of these other. Uh, fennel, right, although those smells like it, right? The, the, fen the fennel plant smells like I think black it, licorice. I, oh, that's correct. Yeah. The purple. It's purple, right? That plant. Uh, uh, I don't know. No, it's it's green. The blue. But there, there's, it grows all over the uh, the slough out there in Watsonville, all, all over right. the place. Number three here, Dave, and okay. we have number five. five all right. And three. Five left. Number five, five. is. Wait, wait. How do my brain waves look? Oh, yeah. Uh, I was too busy eating the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Perfect. All right. All right. This is fruit jelly. Okay. And this one is, uh, it's uh, purple uh, color. It doesn't say the flavor on it. Oh, yeah, it does. It says grape. Right Dude, there. that All one's right. totally tainted. They marked it down to five cents. That's because it was sitting in the sun. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, this one, you know what? This one smells like a, um, a, grape? a Jolly Rancher, like a grape yeah, Jolly I'm, I'm Rancher. Yeah, I'm sure it tasted fine, oh, but yeah. I, I guarantee you that thing's been sitting in the sun, Billy. Mm. 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 I like it. I could suck back a few of those before, uh, <laughs> before take you a nap run in the to evening. The emergency That's pretty room? good. That's not bad. Okay. That's, uh, I'm you telling you. You guys want to try that? Uh, Lane and Amy? Uh, they're hurt. both uh, disagreeing that they want to taste it. Nobody wants to taste that. Well, I'll try it. Okay. Billy's stomach's going to be cramping like a... No, I'm just having a little piece of All right. All right. What else now we got, we're Billy? down to our... Are we down to our last question here, Dave? I think so. Yeah, we only got two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. All right, here we go. Come on. I'm ready. Here we go. Here we go. The last, uh, last but not least question. Hold on, hold on, let me meditate. And that is, and I know Dave's going to know this because he grew up in Watsonville. I'll be surprised if he doesn't know it. David, on what candy wrapper might you find an Indian shooting an arrow at a star? Is it Necco Wafers, Laffy Taffy, Warheads, or Tootsie Pop Roll? Tootsie Pop Roll. Ding, 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 ding. David, right. you got it. I think everybody knew that too. David Michaels, I think that on this Tasty and Tainty, you did a fantastic job. You so did my brain do well there? Did you were much calmer yes. during that one. Yes. And now I must taste the final candy from Tiger Products. It's called the Oblius. Did I say that right, Dave? Is this uh, Oblius? Sure. Obli <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Billy. Could you say that with any more? Well, you don't have to eat it, so... Kind of, all right. These are like little cracker things. That's interesting. They're brightly colored, little wafers. And uh, it's got like a, well, I'm just going to try it out. Here we go. Oh, my. I can't even eat you it. You chip your tooth out, I dude. can't eat it. I'm not kidding. I, I think you're supposed can't. to unwrap that. Oh, wait, what? Are you you know, I really don't know what that is, dude. dude yeah, it, it what does... is this? I can't eat this. <laughs> I don't, I'm not kidding about this. I think you're supposed to do wrapper? something with it. Are you supposed to like... Uh, wait, they those are like those confession little... wafers, aren't they? Oh, this is like, I don't know what these are, but I think they're like uh, maybe insulation for a home. What are these, Dave? <laughs> Does anybody, seriously, I cannot eat this thing. Is it? 218 I'll try one of these. Hopefully I don't chip out my tooth. No, We're, we're hanging fine. out with uh, Langdon Roberts today. He is with Santa Cruz Neurofeedback. Billy Army is here with us as well. We